Hi, hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate an annual surface water bodies maps using a JRC yearly water classification data in Google Earth Engine. So, now let's get started. So, to generate an annual surface water bodies map, first we have to load our uh, J JRC yearly water classification data into our Earth Engine. For that, we defined a variable called gcw yearly equals to double e dot image collection jrc gcw1 yearly history and suppose if you want to visualize the, the details of this particular image we defined a print gsw yearly so this specific code loads of our uh, image collection into our earth engine and this specific uh, image collection contains an image representing the water surface history over a uh, different years so now let me explain about this data here so jrc yearly water classification history so this specific data is available from 1984 to 2022 so the data provider is uh, ec jrc google so to access the specific code we can use this set of uh, script to access access this particular data so the description about this data is given here this data contains the maps of location and temporal distribution of surface water from 1984 to 2021 and provides the statistics on the extent and change of those water surfaces and this specific data was generated using uh, using uh, 4 million and 716 uh, thousand and 475 scenes from Landsat A5, 7 and 8 were acquired between 16 March of 1984 to and to uh, 31 December 2021 each pixel was individually classified into water and non-water uh, using an expert system. The results was, uh, were collated into a monthly history for the entire time period and uh, two epochs for the change detection. And uh, this uh, yearly seasonality classification collection contains a year-by-year -year classification of seasonality of water based on an occurrence value detected throughout the year. So now let's check out, check out the different bands that is available in this specific data. So the resolution of this particular band is a 30 meter resolution. So the name of this particular uh, particular band is water class. So description is the classification of the seasonality of water throughout the year. So it has uh, three to four different values here. So this value zero here represents no data and value one represents not water and value two here represents a seasonal water and value three here represents uh, the permanent water. So now let me get back to our earth engine. So next uh, we're going to filter the image collection to retrieve the image only for the year 2019 and select the first image in the filtered collection. So now here the GSW 2019 uh, represents the image uh, image data for the year 2019. So to filter we defined a variable called filtered equals to GSW yearly dot filter double e dot filter dot eq so year and uh, we are representing for this particular year that is 2019 and next uh, we defined a variable called gsw2019 equals to double e dot image filter dot first function so it selects the first image in the filtered collection of uh, the specific data that is our the water bar surface uh, water body of grs uh, yearly water classification data so next we're going to identify the water pixel for the year 2019 so for that we defined a variable called water 2019 equals to gsw 2019 dot eq to uh, dot or uh, gcsw 2019 dot eq 3 so this part of the code identifies the water pixel for the year 2019 it looks for the pixel in gsw 2019 gsw 2019 with the value 2 or uh, 3 which is likely to represent a different water class uh, water class in this uh, data now let me show you that so 213 here represents so 213 here represents the seasonal water as well as the, the 3 here represents the permanent water so next step we're going to masking the water pixels so for that we defined a variable called water 2019 equals to water 2019 dot self mask function so this applies a mask to the water uh, 2019 layer so uh, this mask uh, out any non water pixels and leaving only the water pixels uh, in this uh, data so for that we are using the specific code here 
So next we're going to define the visualization parameter for this specific data. So for that we define variable visparam that is visualization parameter setting with a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 1 and with the color palette we are representing white and blue. And last uh, to add this layer into our earth engine uh, we define map dot add layer water 2019 visparam represents our visualization parameter and uh, output the layer name as 2019 water map. And this specific data will show us uh, identified water body for the year 2019 according to this specific data here. So now uh, let me run this code, go to this option called run script and click run script. Let me zoom out. You can take a look at the global view of this particular data here. So in the here in the layer section we have a 2019 uh, water map. So the globally all the water uh, bodies been identified using uh, this specific uh, data here. So you can able to view that. So now let me zoom into this uh, this part of this country here. So you can uh, be able to visualize all the water bodies uh, in this specific uh, year 2019. So let me turn on the satellite mode here. So you can now uh, clearly able to view here all the water bodies in global level uh, for the year 2019 data is currently you can able to visualize it. So now let's take a look at the console section of our earth engine here. So here in the output uh, in the console section you can able to visualize we have our image collection of GRC GSW1 of uh, yearly uh, data set. So uh, we're going to view this particular data set. So here in the feature section you can able to observe uh, different images were accessed for this uh, from this particular data set you can able to visualize for all the years starting from 2000 uh, that is 1984 to uh, 2021. So now let me open this select this particular image here. So here you can able to visualize the different uh, details being available here. You can able to see here the system index and system footprint and uh, the order class uh, class name. So there is a uh, totally around four classes in this particular data set starting from 0 to 3 and similarly the water class uh, color palettes. So the water uh, the, these are the color palettes were used uh, representing the four elements starting from uh, 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. Let me explain this. So you can able to view here. So these are the different values that is 0, 1, 2 and 3 which represents a different uh, that is no data, not a water, seasonal water and permanent water. So here you can able to visualize the water class values here 0, 1, 2 and 3. So this set of represents the the no data are represented in this color and uh, non-water areas been represented in this set of color that is uh, FFF FFF and for the year 1986. So now let me uh, show you. So this particular data is, uh, is for globe available for the year uh, 2019. So this specific data is available from 2000 uh, that is 1984 to 2022. So in this video I have shown you uh, how to generate an annual surface water bodies maps using uh, JRC yearly water classification data in Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.